हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल खत्री स्टैनो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर डिक्टेशन ऑन डेली बेसिस टूडे वी डिक्टेट अ पैसेज ऑफ लीगल एडिटोरियल डिक्टेशन गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन इन अ सिग्निफिकेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑन जनवरी 19 हैज लिस्टेड द प्री रिक्विसाइड्स टू बी मैंशनड इन ग्रांट ऑफ बेल एप्लीकेशन the court also recorded that these suggestions are to streamline the proceedings and avoid anomalies pertinently apart from other suggestions the court reiterated the direction issued in the judgment in pradhani jani versus the state of odisha 2023 sc 455 that all bail applications filed by the different accused in the same fir should be listed before the same judge apart from that the division bench of justices rajesh bindal and vikram nath issued the following directions firstly there should be details and copies of orders passed in the earlier bail applications filed by the petitioner which has already been decided secondly details of any bail applications filed by the petitioner which is pending either in any court below the court in question or the higher court and if none is pending a clear statement to that effect has to be made in case it is mentioned on the top of the bail application or any other place which is clearly visible that the application for bail is either first second or third and so on so that it is convenient for the court to appreciate the arguments in that light if this fact is mentioned in the order it will enable the next higher court to appreciate the arguments in that light thirdly the registry of the court should also annex a report generated from the system about decided or pending bail applications in the crime case in question the same system needs to be followed even in the case of private complaints as all cases filed in the trial courts are assigned specific numbers cnr number even if number fir number is there lastly it should be the duty of the investigating officer any officer assisting the state counsel in court to apprise him of the orders if any passed by the court with reference to different bail applications or other proceedings in the same crime case and the counsel appearing for the parties have to conduct themselves truly like officers of the court a division bench of the supreme court made these observations while hearing a bail application to give a brief factual background two persons were accused under the narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances act the sessions court rejected their bail applications imperatively their bail applications were listed in the high court before different judges for convenience let's say judge a and judge b as also illustrated in the judgment while the co accused bail application was allowed by judge b the appellant's bail application was rejected by judge a against this backdrop the present slp was filed by the appellant meanwhile a second bail application was filed before the high court without disclosing the facts about the instant slp now during the pendency of the matter before this court judge b who granted bail to the co accused granted bail to the appellant the supreme court pointed out that the standing order directed the registry to annex all the orders passed in the earlier bail applications despite the order passed by the high court in the case of the applicant oblique appellant rejecting his earlier bail application did not form part of the second bail application before the high court